Welcome to the GAC Weekly. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Glad you're along for the ride today. And we are opening up the 10th season of the Great American Conference a little bit early, at least according to the GAC Weekly. We're just kind of pushing 2020 maybe in the past and headed to 2020, 2021 already. And we're stopping at all of the member schools of the Great American Conference, getting to visit with you know, folks from each one of these 12 campuses, today's stop is Searcy, Arkansas, and we get to visit with somebody that I've wanted to get to have a conversation with on the air for a long, long time, and that is the Assistant Athletic Director for Sports Information, Scott Good. And just really quickly to let you know, Scott does everything. I'll just put it that <laughs> I don't know that there's anything that he either doesn't do or can't do. And I really appreciate, Scott, you taking some time with me today. Yeah, no problem, Joey. It's uh, it's an honor to be on your show. <laughs> well, you know, you're the guy that always gets things set up for me. And I know I, I have called you many times or texted or whatever the case may be. Uh, hey, listen, can I speak with this coach? All right, can I speak with the AD? All right, can can we get this set up for whatever preview series we have going on or or whatever you know, if we're getting ready for a tournament, championship of some kind, you're always there. And I, I know the title SID really is just to start with what you do, but but talk about actually what you do. Oh, man, I started uh, in, as the sports information director at Harding in 1999. And uh, things in the sports information field have changed a lot. Uh, every now and then I get to speak in a class to college students and uh, and tell them the differences between now and then. And uh, it's it's just really funny for 20, yeah, you know, this I guess this was my 21st year. And uh, so I guess, you know, a normal a normal day probably involves, you know, helping set up an interview or two, something like that. Uh, working on HardingSports.com website, which was just in its very infancy in 1999 when I started, uh, and now it, you know, it probably takes up half of your day. Uh, I maintain our history and record books. Um, Nathan Looney, I've got to give him some some major credit. Uh, he works along with me during this quarantine. Uh, he has scanned in more than 20,000 documents uh, from our from our athletics history. Uh, that's that's a lot of it's going to be able to go up on the website and people are going to get to see, you know, just recently we scanned in the 1987 basketball game where Harding beat UCA and Scottie Pippen played in his last game. And we have the box score of that now that people are going to be able to see. So, uh so that, in general, what a his last dance at UCA is that what you're saying? That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. I mean, you know. Stevie's their SID there, and I have gone back and forth about that. We're great friends. He's been there longer than I've been at Harding. Um, but uh, so that what I tell people if I have to explain it, my, my elevator pitch is uh, we're the PR people for Harding University through the athletics department. We try to tell the story of Harding through the through the sports that are played uh, at, at Harding University. So uh, and really anything that that uh, plays into that is is something that I try to help with. Well, you do a fantastic job, and I'm not just saying that because you're here. I've I have always been impressed with your work. I, I got to meet you. I believe the first time that I actually got to meet you was at a Great American Conference baseball tournament in Enid. Uh, at David Allen Memorial Ballpark yes. up there as, as you were taking care of the stats up there. And one of the things I've always you know, thought of, about you in particular, when you talk about the history and, and being that PR person, you have a great mind. I mean, the, there's, there's so <laughs> much history of Harding athletics. And I mean, even in the time it's been a part of the GAC now going into right. its fifth year, but you know, you're ready with those facts all the time. And I'm always impressed with how much you know I, that I knew even at the time of, of just baseball in particular, statting things. And so I, I it, it seems like you really enjoy sports. Well, I, I do. And, uh, you know, I have to, I have to thank God for, uh, you know, I really think about that, that my career probably started when I was about six uh, six years old. Um, my dad played, um, 
church league softball at a little field down the hill from from the house where we lived. And uh, I was always fascinated with um, the guy sitting behind the fence (laughs) that had a little book in his lap in his folding chair and the events of the of what would happen out on the field he would record in his book he was the he was the scorekeeper and uh, i didn't know that's you know i didn't know that's what that was called or anything like that at the time but i can remember very vividly like uh a uh, a line drive that my dad caught at third base he was playing third base and and I saw him catch it and I was shocked Hey, that my dad caught that ball. And so I would run over to the man sitting behind the fence and say, show me what that looked like. Show me what that looked like. And, you know, in his book, it said L5. And I thought, I thought, you know, he recorded what my dad did. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. And so mm-hmm. I'd go run off and play wiffle ball with my, my buddies or whatever. And, and so, but I, I think back to, to that day that I don't know who that guy was. He, I, I always say he was an old man, but he was probably, he might've been 25 and, and you know, I was six, so I thought he was old, but, right. um, but I just feel like God has placed people in my life at different points that kind of gave me a roadmap to, to Harding university. And then to uh, some of the other, you know, amazing opportunities that I've, that I've gotten through working at Harding. As we're speaking now with Scott Good, who is more than just a sports information director, although I have such high respect for that title in and of itself, the assistant athletic director for sports information at Harding University. And Scott, you know, really, even in recent years, I, I know you've been a part of a lot. You know, when you started in, in 1999 when I was 12, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't no, think you were right. right. Uh, well, we'll check that later on and verify that right, right. particular stat. We may have to go back and, and uh, make a correction there. But anyway, you know, with, with all that you've seen, of course, uh, the Gulf South Conference and then Harding coming into the Great American Conference and being a part of it. Now, you've just seen some really fantastic things. And from my perspective, uh, the, the, the last four or five years have really, I don't know if it's been a golden era for Harding, but it's definitely been an enjoyable time to be a Bisons fan. Well, there's there's no doubt. Um, you know, Paul Simmons has done a great job at as the as the football coach. And uh, I was listening to uh, Florida's baseball coach talk on a game uh, on a Korean baseball game I was watching the other day. And and uh, you know he's he's the baseball coach, and they're not you know they've been national champions and they're very good. And he goes, well, when football is going good, everything is going good. And I thought, you know, that's a I mean that that has been that has been true. You know, football in the GAC is is uh, one of the marquee sports for sure, and uh, and we've had a lot of success, and and uh, we've made it to the NCAA playoffs. You know, so many times over the last, uh, in fact, the last uh, three or four days, my job here at home has been putting together our postseason football record book. You know, we'd never. We for a long time we'd not been in the postseason, uh, and and there were just very few there were very few games and really no reason to put together a record book. But um, oh, since I guess since 2012 we've made the postseason so many times that uh, now we've got a you know we've got a pretty good uh, collection of games and, and records and stats and things like that. So so that's what I've been doing the last the last few days. But you know you you add the women's basketball final four. Uh, soccer, men, uh, women's soccer has been to the, to the regional. We've been to the regional in several different sports. So yeah, it's, I tell people all the time, it's a whole lot more fun when you win. And, <laughs> and, uh, you know, the last, like you said, the last three or four or five years have been, uh, have been, have been very enjoyable. There's a lot more work when you win. Right. Um, but man, I would take, I take winning over losing any day. I, I completely understand. I mean, when there's a lot going on, that means that it's, it's a fun. Yeah. Time. Yes. When you're, when your season, when your school year lasts into late March or early G, or late May or early June, uh, which, which we've had in the spring several times, then, then uh, yeah, it's been a good year. Well, you know, I, I want to wrap up our time and talk about the, the great American conference, the shield behind us right now is the GAC is, 
heading into its 10th season of existence. I think that's a big milestone. But yeah. I also believe that, uh, you know, this is this is a conference that that really is gaining momentum and gaining ground. And, and we're seeing the fruits of that more and more, I think, really in the last two or three years uh, with the runs that uh, the, the women's basketball team made. Of course, you, you yeah. referenced that, of course, Harding football in, in the playoffs. I mean, almost annually now at, at this point, what, win or lose in the conference championship, the Bisons sure. are supposed to make an appearance in the postseason. Right. The softball team uh, has uh, yeah. its presence known as well, as you were talking about playing into to late May and June too. So with, with those things and, and getting then to the national level, it, it helps the legitimacy of the growth of the conference. Uh, talk about the GAC as you see it now headed into year 10. Yeah, you know, it kind of felt like when we first got started that we were the underdogs. Uh, we were the, you know, the the new conference that uh, couldn't expect it to be do. Couldn't you couldn't expect the GAC to do much, you know, in the postseason? You know, we were going to get our one team or our two teams or whatever. Um, but yeah, like you said. It, over the years, through through year six, seven, eight, nine, and now ten coming up, uh, it's really felt like uh, you can't overlook the GAC anymore. You know, if you if you overlook some of the teams that uh, that are at the top of our league in each sport, um, you, it's going to be it's going to be rough. And and the you know we're I really feel like in almost every sport we may be in the toughest region in the NCAA. I think and so you're right. If you if you can if you can get out of the central region tournament uh, in whatever the sport whatever sport it is, you got a great shot to go a long way. And uh, you know it it is. I I really think for our student athletes, you know, in the GAC, you're not going to get a much better uh, competitive opportunity than you're going to get in the GAC and in, in, in at our schools, because you're going to play, you, you got to get through the regular season conference schedule in a very difficult GAC. Then if you make it to the regional, you're going to get to play in, like I said, maybe the best regional in the country. If you get through that, then, then you got a shot to go a long way. And, uh, and re we've really seen that with uh, in several sports, football, basketball, uh, softball, and baseball. Uh, um, the GAC has performed very well, and uh, I think the biggest the biggest way that uh, the biggest change that that has created is it's not a surprise anymore. You know, if you see a GAC go a GAC school go a long way in an NCAA tournament, everybody's like, you know, that's we should do that because right. we're we're competitive nationally with with these other schools. So um, it's it's been a lot of fun to watch and. and uh, you know, even if it's not your school that that has made it into the highest level, uh, it's it's fun. We've been around the the student athletes, we've been around those coaches, and we root for those people to, uh, you know, to experience the best, to have the best experience they can have at the at the national level. I understand. Well, you know what, Scott, I just want to commend you for the work that you do, and and I. I try, you know, along with Michael Westbrook, and we we talk about you regularly on the air, and and we we enjoy it because you're such a good guy, and and we like our Scott. <laughs> uh, but uh, also, I just want to say I appreciate what you do. Uh, you you are one of those guys that really does his job well. You you take pride in what you do. You enjoy your university, and it shows. And I think that you're just a great reflection of, of the conference as well. So thank you, Scott, for, for doing what you do and, and uh, into another year now. Well, I, I really appreciate your kind words. That's, that's very nice. And like, again, I, I have to give Nathan Looney a lot of credit. Yeah. I'll, you know, the people that are around Harding Sports Information and, and Harding University know how important Nathan is. And, yeah. uh, and sometimes, sometimes he makes me look way better than I should. So I, I really appreciate uh, the help that I have. Okay. Well, I, I agree. I think, I think that Nathan, <laughs> I definitely, I don't want to be remiss when right. he watches this. I don't want him to go, well, Joey, you know, they're, they're, yeah, yeah. Too. yeah. But I, I do appreciate him. Scott Good, yeah. the assistant athletic director for sports information at Harding university. Thank you so much for giving time in this hashtag time of no sports right yeah. on the GAC weekly.
Yeah, you're welcome, Joey, anytime. All right. Please be sure and continue to watch this series. We're going to continue our journey through the GAC and uh, get to visit with some more folks on the GAC Weekly, which is actually nominal at this point. I think it's becoming the GAC Daily. It is what it is. And please be sure and subscribe to this YouTube channel at Midwest Sportsnet, the home of the Great American Conference, the GAC Weekly. I would appreciate that as well. For Scott Good, I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching and have a great day.